Hello guys, and uh, before we begin, let's see quickly what we'll be achieving in today's video. As you can see, uh, we have UI icons representing different branches of economy uh, for, for our little decision game. And also the display and uh, play style is a little bit tweaked, so the cards are rotating to the side, we are choosing the action, the action is being displayed in a more um, cool looking way and also we can see how um, our action will impact the the kingdom uh, or the, the economy we are actually governing. So without further ado let's jump into this. Okay so now I have pixel art graphics made uh, I can uh, update it so as you can see, we go into the sprite editor. We have already uh, those three uh, sprites for the player selected, for the, sorry, character selected. But we have to add more. And we are not going to use the automatic uh, slice uh, function because we, we I've added uh, those UI icons as well. So what we are going to do is we will just... Uh, add those sprites by hand if you m fail to to catch uh, some of the pixels just delete the previous one so we add those things here here uh, so this one will be the back of our car and no sorry Let's catch as much as we can. Uh, sorry, let's catch as um, little white space as we can. It's, well, it will be much more. It will be better. Sorry. Okay, and apply. What I'm curious about is why there's uh, white space. It should be transparent. So let's uh, quickly uh, do some testing. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, obviously there's white space. So what we do, we open it in Photoshop once again. And we have to... Fix it! We have to fix it. Oh yeah, obviously. I've changed. Uh, I've uh, chosen RGB, which is without alpha channel, so we have to choose uh, alpha RGB. It can be 16 bit or whatever. I like to stick with the 16 bit. Okay, so well, that's fine. Now everything is fine. Uh, so now let's make. Uh, an empty which will be for UI icons and let's hide this text because it's not needed. It will be our debug text and now uh, we put into the UI icons mm, so it will be our my icon and a bit uh, higher. But you know what? 
No, it's pretty decent, I guess. Maybe just a bit smaller. 40 by... F sorry. 40 by 40. Okay, so now let's add... Let's copy this one. Mm. This one will be character. And let's move it know, by 100. Set native size. So it's uh, 38 by 24. Let's uh, keep the aspect ratio. Actually, we don't have to keep the aspect ratio. We don't have to. Maybe people. Oh crap. People icon. This one will be faith. Faith. Mm. The least will be let's call it army army icon and 200. Now we have to oh, 16. Go to the people, let's change it to a bit like native. Size and faith as well. 40 by 26. Okay, it's nice. Security. Okay. The money. Money is. Okay, it's. Nice, I guess. Yeah, it's nice, I guess. Okay, so right now let's uh, do a bit of uh, idea stealing from the real rain rains game when it comes to UI because let's uh, detach the person's card from the card uh, vessel. To do it, what was that? That's the squad as the background, I guess. That's the background. There's action code, there's dialogue, and there is the card itself. But we have to detach the card from the from the rest. So let's make a, a new empty. Is this one the canvas? Let's make a game scene. Let's add the card here. Let's make an empty call it game logic. So, do we need the light? No, we don't. Let's put those two here. I want to change its icon. Okay, so that's the one. Let's make a new UI. UI. Okay. Because I really don't like uh, the messy style of the Unity. Nice. 
Oh, okay. So now we've got the card, but we have to make once again a card. Call it card holder. And this one will be a just a new one. Let's see if it does not crash. It does not. Okay. So when it comes to the dialogue, uh, sorry, action quote, then action quote can stay connected to the card because it will be better this way. Yep. I hi. I don't know you. Okay, how to do this? Uh, let's make an, uh, an image. Call it. Sorry, it's not an image. Action call. Let's make a sprite, and it will be quote uh, background. Make a generic square sprite and plug that. Only a bit in all plug. It's behind. We don't want it to be behind, we want it to be in the foreground. So now it's in the first layer, and now we have to be zoom this way. Okay, so we want it to Let's make it the same size as the card, which is 0.64, and now let's move it here. Sixty-four. Let's now move it zero point uh, minus uh, zero point two, and let's make it zero. No, let's make it zero sixteen. Let's move it minus sixteen. Now minus twenty-four. Okay, and the Action quote. Let's begin the same way, so it will be. Oh, it can be a little bit. Uh, not that not that wide. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we go minus twenty-four, and it will be nicely. Uh, centered on this uh, little piece of of a panel, call it this way. Okay, it is nice, but let's make the the cool background a bit more darker, not that transparent. 50 would be nice. And right now what I want to do is to um, animate this panel so it, it will get darker and darker uh, with the with the card movement to either left or right. Yeah, so let's open up the Visual Studio. And uh, the card controller is uh, piece of uh, unusable code so right now when we are changing the color the text color alpha to one let's make an uh, 
Okay, Moldrick or Sprite? No, we want a Sprite. Yeah, it's a Sprite. So in the UI, let's make a public Sprite renderer. And it will be the... Um, how to call it? How to call it? Uh, action background. Action background, and uh, that's it for the moment. So here we have to change the crop every frame as well. And go action background dot, uh, dot color, and. No, it's not a variable. Okay, let's make a new color then. Oh yeah, because it was a new color. So about that. So public and color action background. background oh, this way that alpha equals to this one but we want to clump it between uh, some value and not one because one will be fully black fully opaque and we don't want it to be fully opaque we want it to stay about 0.7f let's uh now let's make an, uh, a variable uh, so let's make public float f transparency f transparency let's make it zero point seven f for the time being and in the no it wasn't load card update dialog color and action background uh, color equals to action background color yep uh, so let's go to the unity once again okay so what we need to do right now is to go to the game manager and action background color yeah, it's black it's nice action background here is a here uh, here it is action background it will be action core background no, it's not quote background it's action background it's misleading fine that would do the trick. It's nice, but I think uh, 0 0.7 is too much. So let's uh, let's not maximize. What is it? Maximize and play. 0 0.7. You move too much I mean to uh, too quick the value goes it can flash but you know it's uh, the matter of moving too fast so it's not that it's like uh, this controller's fault anyway so it's 0.5 here Let's stay with 0.5 okay Right now what we want to do is, uh, because the, the, the text is now staying here and we need to move the card mm, down, okay, so now that the quote can be easily when it's 3A 
no, 39.5, perfect, let's make it full. oh, maybe let's not, fine I guess, one second, Right now we need to oh. cause it's being uh, it's, its position is being reset. And how is that? Mm, Zero point one the vector. Make a public vector. Public vector two. Uh, position card. And instead of moving it to a new vector every time, let's move it to default position. Lock it. No, let's lock it. Let's lock it. Uh, wait, sorry, it's not, not this one. Game manager. Let's lock the game manager. So we've got the default position, and right now we had it like this, which is good. But let's make it zero. No, zero is uh, too high. Still. Although this uh, this piece of a uh, uh, border, it looks nice, I guess. But let's make the background a little bit wider. So uh, the scale will in the sorry X. because it's 10 times and we want to make it well we don't know how much how much that is but I mean we could calculate it pretty easily I guess so oh well oh it looks like fine Let's make it rotate a bit, like the card in the Reigns games, the Z rotation, so up to, you know, 10. Yeah, it will give the, the player a, a... Sorry, that didn't... That was not saved. Okay, so let's add one more thing which is the rotation of the car card game object yeah we have it so let's make a it has to be a vector free correct yeah so public vector free right now we need a vector free because we will be uh using the z value the the rotation uh, around z axis so we need a vector 3 instead of vector 2 generally for the 2d environment like this because we are using a 3d environment obviously but uh, so we are working in a true 3d environment but we are putting everything on the same plane as a matter of fact as you can see so the z axis only matters if we are rotating things around it okay but uh, in every other case uh, we can use those vector 2 variables for all the position stuff 
Okay, so let's make a card rotation. Uh, first of all, we have to make uh, in the. Okay, so first of all, we go to. Uh, we go here and we have to make. Uh, sorry. We go card game object. Transform it. Dot your angles and we make it new vector free zero zero zero. That's it. Okay, so we reset uh, anytime we we remove the we remove our fingers from our mouse button. So every time we release the mouse button, we now reset the position to the something like middle screen yeah so to the position defined by default position card and we uh, reset the rotation to zero 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 uh, so that it is well oriented in the space we are working with fine but right now we need to change the rotation depending on the on the on the position on the x axis so let's go here and let's go with um, let's copy this one here no sorry it's a dialog text handling here's movement here's ui um, so let's make a new subsection which will be Rotating, rotating the card. So right now, what we want to do is we want to change the z-axis. So let's make it. Uh, we take this one. Dot x. And you know what? But we want to make a. Or do we? Let's make a tweaking rotation variable. So, public float f rotation graphy. And multiply f rotation coefficient. Now, let's go to the Unity. And let's see how it plays. Okay, so it's not very... Or is it? So the rotation is not being changed. That's for one thing. Okay, because it, this one is zero. Sorry. Sorry about that. So let's log the game manager and let's check the change the rotation coefficient to one. Okay, it is nice, but we want it to rotate to the other uh, in the other direction. So. As you can see, it's uh, smoothly being rotated, which is, I believe, it is very nice. Well, that's my opinion, at least. Mm. Let's make a transparency smooth coefficient, so that the transparency takes a little bit longer on the axis. So, because uh, right now the action color background is being... Uh... Okay, we have the same divide value here, which is not something we want. Let's make a... it another transparency. Transparent. So, no, background. Both transparency values, so it's not something uh, good let's make it a background 
divide divide value and background divide value Where's the background divide value here? Divide value is three, so let's make it six. Let's make it one. Yeah, it is working. Let's make it ten. Okay, I guess ten is good. Obviously, it's a uh, it's a matter of taste. Yeah, I like this one. You can uh, once again the default position must be zero because it was not saved, I guess. So let's make it ten. That's the thing uh, when you are working with some tweakable values in the runtime. When you tweak them in the runtime, uh, when you when you are finished with the play mode, the game mode, all the values are uh, reset. There is a there is a way to go around this, but on the other hand, in the most of times, you don't want them to be saved. So, uh, really, it's a matter of uh, of choice if you want to to have them being saved all the time or never. I would rather have them never because then I can do some stupid uh, uh, shenanigans with the with the values and then just reset them and do not uh, think about those previous default values and uh, all the drawbacks uh, being that you have to repeatedly insert the new values you found in the runtime I mean it's a it's a small inconvenience, a small price to pay for the bigger one. Okay, so right now what we want to do, yet another thing, is we want to make... Let's create a, yet another thing here. Uh, no, it's not UI, it's 2D sprite. We call it card back. Sorry, didn't I call you a card back? Okay, I called a card back. Game manager. Oh my god. Card back. And let's make a pending card. Uh, yeah, pending card. So the pending card will be here as well. For the card back, we choose the card back. We can now say no, we cannot really. And why is that? Oh my god, I've added card, oh Jesus, no but, sorry, those are all, okay so I just have to, oh, Sweet mother of God. Let's do a quick thing like this. And right now. No, it was not a good idea, after all. Ok, 
Okay, so let's uh, copy this component and let's paste it here as well. So right now we have the card and we have the uh, what? And why is that? background okay ah right now we can reset position what have I done yeah it's good dialogue Why it's so big? Okay, I'll handle it in a moment. Mm. Dialog reset position. There's some weird shenanigans going on. Reset position. Okay, so let's reset position of all of the things we've been using because there's been some weird shenanigans going on which we don't really want to happen the UI and there's not really a position of UI when it comes to world space so it's not that important okay but let's uh so the card is look let's look at the game uh, and the main camera oh yeah and the main camera as well Position minus 10. Let's make it minus 10. Okay, so when it comes to the game, nearly everything is uh, done. Okay, I'll add, let's look at the action quote. This is okay, so the card is good, but the, the background is too big. We don't want it be that big it's supposed to be 0.7 and 1 is it good or is it bad why is not being mm. okay so now it's minus One point two four six. Let's make it minus two, minus four, minus four, yeah, or minus two. Yep, so minus one point four. Now let's make the dialogue. size oh yeah it's scaled 10 10 Just bullshit okay position 2 sorry Mm, sorry. 
some dialogue once again, not four, but three, two, three, two, four, no, three, or two, eight. But let's stick with two, eight. Let's make it zero point two, eight. And this one, let's put it to the position of what? To the position of this minus 1.4 correct okay now everything should be fine the UI is looking better and better but let's uh, come back to the card back stuff let's make it order in layer 1 this one should be order in layer let's make it like 5 so it's a uh, it's always on the top but this action quote um, what is this should be six and this one should be six this is the card and now the card back should be order one because it should be on the uh, background but under everything else and the pending card should be only over the card back and under everything else so let's make minus one and four and this one as well minus 1.4 like the card itself now let's look what we are trying to accomplish Sorry. Mm. This is background. Why is no? I don't get it. Why is this 1.4 not equal to this one's? Ah, I get it because it's scaled up. Oh, no, this is some fucking bullshit. But you need this kind of so it's. 0 0.14 because this one is scaled 10 times or you know what I don't want it to be scaled 10 times I want to scale uh, scale other things 10 times so it's now 7 and it's 10 and dialog is 10 and oh no no 1 oh yeah 10 and 10 card back and this one is minus 1.4 this one is 10 and 10 okay and is it good it is good but the dialogue is not in the right position it should be 2.8 Okay, so it is nice and comfy right now. So we've got the back, we got the back card behind, right? And right now, what we want to do is to, um, when we have this one card, and when we um, choose either side, we want the one of those back cards, so the pending card, to be transformed into what we want to achieve. Uh, what we want to um, so the next card we want to show and we want it to rotate like in the real reigns game okay so let's go uh, but right now mm, there's this uh, bullshit <laughs> with the values I have to go through once again or do I no I don't really so let's go make it 0 0.14 everything 
to a waste, what the fucking shame. That's it, that's one thing. Okay, so. Now let's think how to do the rotation stuff. Let's move this uh, guy to, his, to the side. When we have a pending card, what we want to do is we want to rotate around the Y axis. How do we? So we want to rotate it around the x, uh, sorry, y axis, right? So we want to turn it for 180 degrees. But in order to achieve a thing we want to achieve, we need to So let's go and uh, let's go and code it. So right now we've got the update method, we've got the update dialog, new card, load card. Right now we have to add a brand new script, uh, sorry not script but a, a method which will be responsible for rotating and substituting the pending card. Let's go public uh, void. Let's call it substitute. Actually, we are not going to substitute anything for anything else. It is just a very basic illusion. Because what we want to do is after the card is loaded, after the card is loaded, we want to we want to okay so first of all we need a let's create some variables for the rotation rotation or substitution so. card so let's make a public boo or is substituting so this bool is uh, important so for the default it will be false because in the update method when we are when we are resetting Let's make it an else if um, is substituting but equals to false. And substitute will be a coroutine, like some other fact. So let's make a, a new coroutine. So we'll go public i enumerator substitute um, 
what we can do or maybe not but then we have to do with uh, bull and public uh, vector free but we already have a vector free for default card rotation so let's move it here so this is the default one mm, current rotation obviously it's the, the current rotation of the car and we need one more which is public vector free call it final rotation and final rotation actually um, no it's not final rotation it's initial in its rotation and in its rotation we can already set it to be uh, no we'll set it in the editor okay so else if it's substituting else if is substituting so mm, when we load the card the current card after everything is set we set is substituting equals to true and then we have to make an if false no so we'll do it later okay so uh, right now Mm, what we want to do, we want to at the very beginning set uh, the card, our card, to be mm, rotated by 180 degrees and then we want in each iteration to rotate it uh, towards the default position. So here we can also set the rotation of our card not to new vector but to init rotation which will be the backward rotation and we need a pending card rotation as well mm, we need a, a new game object which will be public game object uh, pending card Checked. and any so any show what uh, oh, the card let's make a current rotation of the uh, of the pending and in its rotation of the pending. So we've got with card game uh, sorry pending card game object the transform dot URA equals equals to in its rotation no equals to it can be card rotation really because uh, this one is zero zero zero, which is which is the initial for the back of the car. One more thing is we need both a sprite renderers, or do we? Oh, maybe not. No, we we shouldn't need them. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so pound pending. Okay, so now while the is substituting boolean flag is true and it is set to be true, we begin rotating both objects so that the card and the back of the card. You know what? 
let's get rid of this and we'll just add a back of the card to the card itself it will be 10 times easier yeah so still right now we go with uh, what we do we do we do we do We can go with move towards, as a matter of fact, because move towards is uh, just a... Uh, what's funny with move towards is that it, it says that it is moving a vector, but uh, when it comes to vector, so the Euler angles, Euler angles vector and position vector are the same vector free variable. And Actually, Unity doesn't really see angles and position as a different thing. They see them as vectors and move towards vector uh, method is just interpolating between two vectors. So the current and the uh, and the aimed at destination in this context. But let's do it this way and see if it's being handled the way we want it to be handled. So let's go with rotation. It's not... Mm, sorry, it's not rotations, Euler angles. And it's not default position, the, the place we want to move, the targets, it's not default position, but what? Mm, was it card rotation? Yeah, it was card rotation. Card rotation and uh, not moving but rotating speed public float f rotating speed rotating speed and if or maybe not maybe let's Check it here. Oh, this one is not needed. No, it is needed. Maybe let's put it. Because this one should be here. That's my mistake. Because we want to rotate the card depending on the x value only when we are uh, when we receive the input from the mouse. So let's put it here. And right now we can check if a card rotation. No, not card rotation. If this one equals to card rotation then we mark the is substituting flag as false okay let's see what we've got here first of all we need the rotating speed equals to I don't know one can be let's make it 10 Ah, one more thing, current rotation, initial rotation, want this one to be just around x, y, sorry, y, yeah, minus 180. It's too fast. Oh, it is... It is good, but it is being <laughs> uh, rotated where we are actually uh, relieving the mouse button, which is not good. Which is not good. Mm. So in the load card, let's uh, put those things, which will be reset, resetting the position. And 
now uh, any name of the substitute substitution ah oh, whatever right now would be it should be fine right now yeah but uh, 10 is too too much let's make it two is not sometimes it is not being uh, put in the correct position correct rotation is substituting the whole position ah crap because we've got this move towards and we don't want to move it towards we Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I know how to handle it. I forgot. So this initializing substitution should be put. Um, should be put here. But no. Not here. When it got the new card. When the new card is being current card left new card. Where to put it? You know what? No, we want it here. But instead of uh, moving towards, we want. What default? Default position card. No, oh. that will do the trick, obviously. So the card will be returned to the to the place only if it's uh, close, okay. But on other times it will go. I don't remember if it was like this. I mean, it's it disappearing. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so let's uh, first of all let's change it to two, and let's add a card back. So this one, let's put it here. So when we got the card, let's move it somewhere else. We need it to D. And this one we want to turn it back by 180 degrees. Okay, so but right now. Okay, so it's either this and that, which is not something I would like to see, but I want it to be seen only in one direction. Okay, so this one is 5, let's make it 5 as well. So this, this way, 
those two are being visible only from the direction but or maybe this one no it will not do let's make it let's separate them just a little bit so right now it will do the trick i guess let's see I mean, it does the trick. Oh, oh, the fucking UI. It does the trick, but still we can see the distance between those two rotating spins. Let's make it really small. Oh, yeah. You can see the distance between those two sprites. It gives the effect of the card being. Uh, kind of thick but you know it's not something I want to achieve but on the other hand let's make something like this so very small well I guess it's uh, it's good this one this time so maybe there's a better way to do this, but really it's not something I would like to uh, jump into right now at least. So if you've got any suggestion how to, to make it better, maybe I'll uh, I'm probably I will do some research for it, but I don't have time nor the uh, nor the willingness to do this at this right moment. So as a as a final thing in today's video, in today's part of the tutorial, let's uh, handle the UI. Uh, so I mean those icons. So right now I'm thinking whether it'd be better to move those icons to the game scene itself instead of using them as an uh, as UI icons. But uh, maybe let's stick to the UI. Okay, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go and let's add a small, mm, a small dot. So UI image, and there will be this small dot under every native size position. Minus, minus 40, how is that, it's too small, let's make it 10 by 10, okay so we've got a small dot, let's make this dot under, appear under every piece of the UI. reset the x value because it's all relative yeah so we've got those dots and those dots uh, are supposed to be inactive let's make them scale 2 by 2 maybe not 2 by 2 but okay so right now it's 1 by 1 and it will mean that the card or the action we are choosing is affected this particular one set of uh, variable set of uh, how it was called, I don't know, our kingdom's characteristic trait or region, whatever. So we've got the, let's say, defense or security, yeah, security, fate, uh, money, people, and the army itself. Yeah, so we've got those small, uh, small dots. They will resemble the fact that the action will have consequences of on this particular region of economy and if it's a small action if the small impact the dot will be this size if it's a major then we will scale them up to 1.5 i guess okay so let's, let's stick with this for the time being 
and let's go let's, let's save it's always good to save let's go to to what so we've got uh, our card and right now we need a uh, what do we need let's let's make a new let's make a new class that will uh, store the or do we no you know what no let's in the game manager let's make a section which will be the our kingdom our variables and values so kingdom we call it kingdom and those will be public static values and we'll have public static yeah we want to play with integers for the time being let's call it kingdom kingdom uh, so, or safety let's call it safety safety so that's the first one and those five values I will put right now will be connected to those five uh, to those five of displays. Okay, so let's go public static. Oh, int. Uh, what was what was those others? Yeah, it was kingdom five public. Kingdom Fate, uh, Kingdom uh, Treasure, Kingdom People. This you can call them anything you want. You probably will have different icons, so it's up to you. And uh, we want to make them static so that every time they are affected, those particular five values are affected, so we don't have to create uh, no, so no matter what instance of the game manager or we don't even have to have a, an instance of the game manager to um, to change to um, append those values which is which is uh, kind of uh, useful and convenient okay so when we have the class of the card we need a, a section Maybe not here because so we need a, a basic we call it basic card values and here will be our effect or impact values and every card will have an impact for those so let's go public int kingdom Kingdom, what was that safety? Probably in Kingdom mm, Faith, Faith, Public in Kingdom uh, Treasure, Treasure, Public in Kingdom. The fuck is the people my god army okay, so those five so every card will have those five values so right now what we need to do we we need an UI manager which will handle UI manager Interface face manager. Let's open up in the Visual Studio and Actually, interface manager will do 
only two things. It will display the values of particular uh, uh, aspects of economies and it will append the look of, of those uh, icons, of those small uh, impact icons. So, um, first of all, we need one more thing because when we got the money icon, we need um, once again UI image. So we need an icon that will let's call those let's call those intact. Maybe let's copy this one here. So this image. So one icon. And right now we can choose like some bright yellow color or white. No, white will be this. Black is bad. Yellow, orange, red. Let's go with green, those line, cool green. And right now, uh, we want it to be. It was what sliced? No, it was filled. Yes. And not. To. Okay, so we've got uh, different methods of filling. Yeah, but we want, don't want it to be radial, we want it to be uh, horizontal. Vertical. Okay, so that's the very uh, very easy way to show how much out of something do we have in a kind of UI, mm, and it's very similar to the uh, to the way we have uh, to the way it's shown in the real uh, Reigns game. We don't want any impact. Okay, and right now, right now, okay, so what we need to do is to repeat it for the every one of those. So we go with field. Oh, one more thing. It's the color, I want the color to be the same everywhere, obviously. So vertical. Let's put it to some value so that I can see uh, that everywhere it's working fine. It's the faint. So we got about half of everything, which is fine. And now we need to do two more things. So first of all, in the game manager, we've got those uh, values, and we go with. We need uh, one more public static. No, public int max value and public int. Min value. Min minimal value is kind of useless, but I don't want to deal with uh, 
with negatives here so let's code the minimal value here and let's code maximum value as 100 it can be like uh, it doesn't really matter what's the value because everything is relative when it comes to calculating uh, those things but you know why not keep it simple and clean with values like 100 so let's go with uh, kingdom values logic because every thing in this kind of decision games so this uh, tinder swiping type games uh, results around keeping your kingdom your uh, enterprise whatever you you are dealing with so keeping those values of those things on certain level yeah so it is generally your objective to keep those on a certain level. I mean, it's not that life is very different from this kind of thing, because life is also about keeping several values on on above certain level. Yeah, like, I know, happiness, your, uh, your finances or whatever. So, uh, taking this thought, uh, a very deep thought into consideration, let's... Uh, let's what um, actually here do we have to do something really here because we've got those values and those values will be those values will be appended here okay so let's already append those values here sorry we've got to 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 make two sets of values so those will be impact values for the left swipe maybe let's make some oh no no it's not needed here left and right and um, left. Right. Okay. So when we go to left, we go with uh, a pen. The values we go with uh, game manager dot uh, it was kingdom army equals to k army left game manager dot kingdom fate equals to fate left very nice I mean it's not it's a uh, kind gum well that's some bullshit going on right there let's change it to kingdom oh my god I'm so illiterate I hope when you're watching this you at least find it funny or something. Now it's kingdom. As it should be. Because well because I don't. <laughs> so I hope at least you do find it funny. So it's fine, it's people key people left. 
here is key safety left and here is key treasure left and we copy paste this one here but we save this here and put and we change left to right yeah that's uh, that's it so we've got those values here with those values here and they got appended every time we use them so we go to the interface manager and what we will do do we need a start method i don't really believe so let's go with ui icons and we need a public what it was sprite renderer or image renderer it's like name is it's image uh, I don't know why it's once called sprite renderer and, and the other time it's called image I know it's uh, one is UI one is game object but you know any uh, anyway it's kind of misleading for me at least so public image no image and it will be what what I need those here change to public image and obviously we need using unity engine.ui that's one that's three and that's Excuse me, what's wrong with you as well? What do you mean? Expected. Well. Ah. Yep. Okay. And uh, UI icons and UI Oh, those, what was the word called? Impact, yeah, impact icons. Impact. And every time we update. Should be also static. So if we can, uh, so that we can, um, so that we can also see it from this class. And we go with Kingdom Safety. And image or fill. It was fill amount, right? Fill amount equals to. And right now, now's the tricky part, so we go to game manager dot uh, safety. We divide it by the game manager max value. And we go few my icons uh, no without the Kingdom safety, kingdom faith, tre not tree, tree, treasure, crap, treasure, people, people. Okay, 
So right now we got those things updated, every frame, which is good. And we need a reference to the card that is actually currently being displayed with public card. How to change it? Because every time but here we have a game manager. There is this uh, card object somewhere. Current card. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got it here. Mm. How to do this, how to do this, no, we go with game manager. So which is nice because we are using some static values, but then again we need a reference to game manager object. Which is, um, which is I guess the only way to go actually. So that's... Uh, okay, I'll go if for the every UI UI uh, impact icon. We go with an if statement and it will go like this game manager dot current card dot and we um, okay, we need to know now oh, we can do it this way. So first of all, let's make an if uh, we need a public game object card, and we we'll check if the card position uh, transforms or right? position dot x. If it's equal, uh, if it's greater than zero, if yes, then we are displaying. Uh, sorry, greater than by zero was what? Let's go with the card. Okay, so left is minus. So greater than greater than zero, it's uh, right. And else if if it's less than zero then we'll go with the left and else we will reset all of those crappy uh, Go with a uh, scale, use local scale or something, or transform uh, local scale equals to zero. Uh, wait, dot. Oh crap, I'm going to go with new. Vector three one zero zero zero. So anytime we are not moving the card, we want those to be not shown. Here's the right, here's the left. And if the card is uh, more to the left, no, sorry, more to the right, then we want to show the only those 
it was one, yeah. Only those which are affected. So let's do it this way for the time being. And we go if mm, if game manager dot current card dot k right army right no safety first safety right if it's greater than zero no if it's not equal to zero because it can be uh, negative as well and since since this if applies to the next uh, line of the code we can do it like this every frame time it's not else if because those can uh, be applied simultaneously unlike those two if statements okay so here's k safety right there's faith so k faith right treasure right people right and army right save this one copy this chunk of code here we've got to change all the right to left Well, so that's, uh, I, I hope that's everything for the why we have to deal with. But right now we've got to go to the UI. And first of all, let's, uh, you know what? Let's remove this component and let's add the component here. Because there's nothing better like having everything being concerned with the logic in one place. Okay, card. Um, card is not really... No, card is important. That's the one. Kingdom safety image. So we go now. Money icon. Money icon. Money is treasure. Um, money is treasure and impact money is here people icon is here oh, sorry. people icon is here and people impact is here fate icon is here fate impact is here security icon of safety is here and safety oh my Fucking safety is here, and I have to pay to replace the army icon is here. Army is here. Army. Army, 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 army. Impact is here. And uh, everything should be working just fine. Everything is zero. So let's now. Oh, sorry, one, one, one second. Okay, those are those are hidden, which is good, and nothing is shown because though our cards have no value as a matter of fact. So let's go to our card scripts and let's check change something. Just to see if we can reduce the voice as well. Okay, there's one more thing because it is. No, it is good. 
No, the, the, the woman has only... I don't know why it's not changing. are negative and that's why they are being displayed this way no I don't believe mm. let's go with game manager and let's debug Log. Uh, and what we want to debug let's debug only like one thing at a time. Let's make them zero. Let's make them like 20 at the beginning as a default. I'm not really sure if this. Uh, where is that? Uh, if. At the same part. If this uh, fill amount should be between 0 and 1 if I'm doing it right but we'll see in a moment let's go see the console clear and play light fine okay so we got that got Z20 okay so it is being calculated Give me a night. Yeah, it's being calculated calculated well. Like what? Okay. Do we have two? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Zero. Why am I am I this stupid? It's plus we are appending, not changing. The... Why didn't you say anything? Oh my god! Okay, so it's being appended well, although uh, it is not being displayed well. So let's go to those icons. So we get zero all the time. We cannot really change it because it is being um, so. Why is that? Mm. Maybe it's a matter of it being a... Oh, it's a float. So let's cast it to a float. Is it going to be better? Is it going to work? No. Oh. Yes, we are homeboys and guy and girls. We are home guys. As you can see, uh, we can really oh, there's one more thing I have to fix it. So the impact uh, things are being shown all the time it's not being changed in the runtime first of all let's put it to 0 0.5 
so that you have to really move it. Um, it can't be that close. It's not possible this this update is not being rendered. So why is that? Change the scale, but then it doesn't change the scale. So let's put a debug clock everywhere. Windows 1. Here goes two and uh, why is that here? Here goes three. And let's uh, remove this one. Okay, so as a last thing in the today's episode, we'll and why is the Two always running. Okay, so there is. Sorry, I don't know why it is not running correctly. So the way I intend. But there is one easy fix to this, so let's just go and um, let's create a public int direction, or maybe not, public string direction, yeah, so uh, anytime we we go here so if uh, if we pass the site merging first of all here we go with direction it is set to none and here the accent here, here the Direction will be set to right. Here it will be set to left, and I will put it here for the sake of convenience. Left as well, and right as well. And now go if. Game manager dot direction equals to it was what right right then it's being left and else is this one it's always free which is nice. Now it's two. Now it's one. Okay, so right now we have what we wanted. There is nothing. Which is very fine. So, as a matter of fact, uh, here we can see what we achieved in today's episode. So, first of all, we have created whole UI holder. So, we've got UI icons representing what? Let's do it on the maximum display. So we can see an effect of our today's work, which was not easy. As a matter of fact, we have what? We have a card representing the character, and the card is being uh, rotated as we move it towards one of the sides. It displays uh, two different dialogue options, so our actions we can undertake. Also, anytime we use a card, uh, the result is being um, applied to our kingdom values. 
and uh, also they are uh, shown here during the runtime, obviously. And anytime we want to do some action, we can see that the icons uh, are giving us some tips whether the what uh, branches of economy will we will uh, append by doing this action. Another thing is anytime we are randomly choosing new card after playing the previous one, the new one is being rotated from the deck, which is I believe quite a new, uh, quite a nice uh, and neat effect. And what's more, uh, we have ready framework um, for designing the all the game stuff, all the game uh, variables, cards, actions, connections. So in the next episode, we'll focus on providing more gameplay oriented uh, stuff. Yeah, so we'll focus on creating more classes, we'll focus on creating uh, more cards and cards that are, that are like a like a chain that are connected with each other. So we will have some uh, reaction to um, to previous card we played. Okay, so thanks you, thank you for watching. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Keep your heads clean and see you in the next video.